Good morning. Hayen Yem Chaf Bey Simon. So us Jewish men, when we say the Shema prayer, we are meant to take the four strands of tzitzis and hold them in our hand. And in today's Hayen Yem, the Rebbe tells us that we shouldn't pick them up when we start the Shema, but we should pick it up earlier. In the paragraph that proceeds to the Shema, we say the words, V'haviyenu l'shalem. It's a prayer to Hashem asking for Mashiach. And we ask Hashem, please bring all of us Jews from the four corners of the world, bring us in a peaceful way back to Israel, bring us back. And since in those words we're describing the four directions of the world, the four corners of the world, so it's appropriate that when we say those words, we should pick up the four strands of tzitzis which on the, are on the four sides of us. And it's not just a superficial connection that there are four corners of the world and the four corners of the tzitzis, rather, the two share a deep meaning and a, a deep connection because it says that the tzitzis represent teriyag mitzvahs. The tzitzis represent the mitzvahs and halacha. And halacha and the mitzvahs cover every last area of human life, cover every last area of the human experience. There's no area in life, there's no human experience which halacha doesn't tell you how to live. And basically what the point of mitzvahs is, what the point of halacha is, is to imbue every last human experience with purpose, with meaning, to make it purposeful, to make it meaningful. And no area of your life should be devoid of meaning, should be purposeless. And that is the purpose of, that's the purpose of mitzvahs, and that's what tzitzis represents. And that's also the purpose of the exile. That's why we send Jews across the exile to the four corners of the world, because by sending Jews to every possible physical location, which also means sending Jews to every possible emotional state of being, every possible mental state of being, by having a Jew in, situated in every possible location out there, in every possible human experience, and then the Jew lives like a Jew in that moment, in that place, in that emotional state of being, in that mental state of being, he is imbuing that location, that place, with holiness, with meaning, with purpose. Okay, and that's why the two share a connection, and that's why they're synonymous. Then when you pick up the four, the four pairs of tzitzis when you say those words, so you should first pick up the first two tzitzis, the front two tzitzis, then you pick up the back left tzitzis, then you pick up the back right tzitzis, and when you have all four in your hand, so you pass them between the pinky and the ring finger, then you cross them over these two fingers, then back down between the middle finger and the index finger, and then back up between the index finger and the thumb, and that's how you hold them throughout the Shema. And the Rebbe says that you shouldn't just hold them throughout the Shema, but you should kiss them six times. Three times in the last paragraph, the Vayemer paragraph, when you say the word tzitzis, when you mention the tzitzis, you should kiss them. So that's when you say the word tzitzis, the word tzitzis, and the word litzitzis. And then in the last word of Shema, MS, again, you should kiss the tzitzis when you say Hashem is true. And then in the paragraph that directly follows the Shema, when you say the words Kayemes and La'ad, Hashem is eternal, Hashem is forever, again, you should kiss the tzitzis. And those words obviously share a connection with the word MS, truth, because something that is true, the sign of truth, is something which lasts, something that's eternal, something that's forever. If something is here today but gone tomorrow, that means it was never real, it was never true. Something real, something essential, something innate, something real, something true, will always be true, will always last. And I don't know this for sure, but I think why those three words, MS, KMS, and La, truth, eternity, correspond to the tzitzis, because like we mentioned earlier, what the tzitzis represent is that Hashem is not just true, Kedusha is not just true, Tyre is not just true in a spiritual cocoon. When you're in the perfect, when you're in like a laboratory, when you're in the perfect designed environment, then Hashem can be true, then God exists. But when you're in a challenging place, when you're in a challenging time, in a challenging place, in a challenging, you're in a, you're in a challenged emotional state or mental state, Hashem is no longer true. Hashem is no longer real, Tyre is no longer true, you can't be Jewish in this place. If that was the case, that would mean Hashem is never true. Hashem's not real, because something that's real Two plus two equals four, no matter where you are, no matter when you are, no matter how you're feeling. And if Hashem is true, then Hashem is true always. Tyre is true always. Yiddish guy is true always. And where Hashem's truth is expressed, where Hashem's eternity and, and truth is expressed and brought out, is through the tzitzis, is through the mitzvahs. Is through bringing Hashem's truth and proving that no matter where we are, no matter how challenging the environment is, no matter how challenging the circumstances are, Hashem is true and therefore it's who we are and therefore we are Jewish always. So God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.